It's Mike back again for another IG Live to talk with one of our friends, Mr. Jose Pasilla of the band Incubus. There he is. Awesome. Hey, thanks for jumping in, man. I know it, I know you're busy. I know you got the first show of the tour tonight, which is uh, always exciting. Yeah. I'm sure you got the uh, first show jitters to work out. Always, man. Always. Awesome. So, like, it's been a minute since you guys have toured and obviously not heavy touring during the pandemic. How are you getting the body and, uh, and mind ready for, you know, wear and tear on the road right now? Um, you know, I just kind of stay the course. I'm always active. You know, there's really no other kind of preparation than what I normally do. So um, I live an active lifestyle. So hopefully I'm already prepared. But you just kind of you kind of uh, condition while you're out here. You know what I mean? There's only one way to do mm -hmm. it. And that's really <laughs> getting out on the road and doing it. Just do it. Absolutely. And, you, know, you guys are going to be you know, around a lot more people uh, during show days. And you've probably been around for like the last couple of years. Are you doing anything yeah. different? You guys do anything different to like keep your immunity strong while you're out on the road? Um, you know, for me, I mean, obviously, um, things are a little bit more mellow backstage. There aren't as many people. Um, mm -hmm. So, so as far as like the social thing, that's limited. Um, and then, other than that, you know, I still, I still, I bring my bike out on tour. I eat good. I got my uh my fresh meals in the fridge we're all ready to go man that's the fir Beautiful. first thing we did last night we got off the plane got on the bus and everyone dug into our meals man they were they were perfect <laughs> awesome awesome and yeah you know let's talk that's so exciting and with you guys launching this tour for the summer how many cities are you guys hitting and i want to make sure everybody knows to go and get their tickets now before they sell out over at incubushq.com but how many uh how many dates and uh, you guys going to be hitting out there i don't know <laughs> <laughs> you just go we've got, like, we've got like 20 something shows um you awesome. know I, you know we always tend to add more at some point um so right now we just got uh, a couple of dozen for the summertime and then we're kind of figuring out what we're going to do so hopefully some international stuff if not this year maybe next year but we're Beautiful. super excited for the summer. It's been two years since we've been planning this. So it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. We have a killer lineup with Sublime with Rome and the Aqua Dolls. So we're jazzed. We're jazzed to go out there and play again. That's gonna be so rad. And you know, I'm thinking like, is there anything since you haven't been out, you know, steady for a while, is there anything different with the set list or any surprises you can tease out or maybe how this tour may compare to others in the past? Uh, you know, we're not really, we don't really prepare too far in advance for stuff. I mean, we always end up doing some improv stuff. Uh, we always do covers just for fun. And usually all that stuff gets inspired while we're rehearsing for the tours. Mm -hmm. So you know, I'm sure we're going to be doing some cool shit. We just, or stuff, excuse me. Um, you know, we just kind of, we kind of just plan, plan it out as it, as, you know, as it comes. So uh, we still got some time to to plan for this summer, but it'll be exciting and it'll be fun. Awesome. And everybody head over to IncubusHQ.com to make sure you get your tickets. Knowing this band, they will sell fast everywhere they go through. So make sure we get get those going. And uh, I want to make sure everybody that's listening knows that we're, uh, we're going to be giving away a pair of tickets that will include passes to the sound check party before the show. If you've never been to a pre-show sound check party, people, you have to go check this out. It's a great way to see your favorite band you're going to see in it, kind of a different, unique environment a little bit as well. Yeah. So make sure you stay yeah. tuned. We're going to be doing a little Incubus pop quiz towards uh, towards the end of this. And uh, hey, actually, Jose, can you kind of, uh, I don't know, tell a little bit about what happens during the, the sound checks for those who have no idea? Um, we're just kind of messing around. I mean, we're, mm -hmm. we're literally sound checking for ourselves um, in front of, you know, small little attendance. Um, so we're, we're just, we're usually just, I don't know, uh, joking around. We're, we're playing songs that we might not necessarily play on during the set or we'll, you know, play a cover that we really don't know how to play. And we're just, we're just joshing. We're fooling around That's up there. Fun. Those yeah. are fun. So if anybody hasn't gotten a chance to catch those, 
make it make it make the investment it's worth it those are always fun to see very unique experience to see your favorite band like incubus do that and with you being on the road away from home how would you how do you feel like fresh and lean is going to you know has in the past helped you stay healthy away from home um especially as you and the band are you know out there now it's it's happening now um it's really it's one it's super easy it's convenient mm -hmm. for me to just go in the fridge warm up a meal and have like like i know my portions are good like my protein my macros you know my fats and my carbs like it's a perfect like it's just a it's a perfect meal a lot of times i double up too like if i go on a bike ride and i got sound check i'll throw two of them in there eat real quick um but you know it's all good healthy organic food and it just it's so easy it tastes so good like it's just it's just perfect it's perfect you know there's already so many things going on like we're juggling so many things every day that mm -hmm. i don't have to really think about a meal and especially like if i have to wait for something to get cooked or if like something in catering is not too appealing like this is just easy you know so it's it's been it's been a an amazing you know thing to be able to to just reach in the fridge and get something to eat that's going to be good fantastic are you in the bus right now or are you at the yeah. venue uh nice. i'm in the bus at the venue in the bus at the venue look at that everybody you got a rock star on the bus hanging out with us live here at fresh and lean and so oh, yeah. you know we we snuck you a few uh sneak peeks of our new mediterranean diet was there uh did you like it how'd you like it it was good, man. I mean, I don't really, I don't know too much about the Mediterranean diet, but if you ask any uh, dietitian or like, you know, anyone in the health world, they're always like, that's the best diet to have. My wife has, has done that for a while, um, but it was delicious. I mean, usually, usually I eat like a meat protein, but mm -hmm. I didn't have any with these. They're, they're more, um, you know, on the vegan side, and they were just, they were delicious, you know, so I actually, what I was doing, I was doing the Mediterranean in combination with, like, a, a paleo, <laughs> and they, they blended really <laughs> yeah. nice. nice. So depending on how hungry I am, man, I'm just, you know, I'm just scarfing some food. That's a great thing. You can kind of mix and match, you know, based on your taste yeah. buds and what you want and what, what's there and the flexibility of it. You want to be really rigid on a certain plan. Uh, you can do that. Otherwise, yeah. fresh meat's got, got you covered from our yeah. protein to our paleo to our keto to our Whole30 to our two vegan plans. And now protein the Mediterranean plus. diet. Yeah. Protein plus. Absolutely. Throw a couple snacks in there as well. So, uh, yeah, it's been great. I'm glad you guys have really enjoyed that. Has anybody else in the band um, – been really turned on to it you guys by chance you know competing a little bit for a, oh i call the teriyaki chicken meal or any of those happening well I'm, i mean you guys got us stocked so there's like plenty <laughs> of stuff but you know it all of us all of us are digging in there at, at some point last night we got we had kind of a late flight and like a three hour drive after the airport Ugh. so Ugh. you know me brandon were and ben actually were burying our heads in the fridge, <laughs> all warming up meals. It was, it was good. It's awesome. That's, that's like the beauty of being able to have this, you know, it's like, sure, we can stop someplace and get crappy food, fast food, but none of us really eat like that, at least, you know, mm -hmm. not all the time. So to have that is just, it was, it was heaven sent last night, especially after a long flight and a long drive ahead of us. Awesome. Well, I'm glad that glad that worked out, man. Your team's been great to work with to get everything dialed in. So, please uh, know we appreciate the the flexibility with you guys from Eddie and everybody around. So, shout out to Eddie over yeah. there. We're we're very and grateful. With, so, thank. With uh, with tour life, you know, I know a little bit about how it's kind of like hurry up and wait at times. There's a lot of you know sure. sitting around waiting. You know, I got to do this and then wait and stop interviews, sound check, whatever. How are you kind of keeping yourself? uh physically active or any of the guys do anything different whether it's yoga or bike riding or what is everybody doing out there yourself in particular um everyone kind of does their own thing a couple of the guys just will work out at the hotel or in the dressing room i'm always on my bike um mm -hmm. we're, we're all we're all pretty active you know and we all kind of do it in our own forms um so uh you know we got a lot of time to kill so we're out there doing stuff you know Absolutely. I know you have sound check coming up, so I don't want to keep you uh, 
going too much too much longer here, man. And you know, it's like with being on the road. I think there's maybe a perception of it's certain things all day and certain things all night. And uh, you know, that rock and roll all night party every day thing might not definitely be what it is right now. Uh, do you see that as a growing trend with touring musicians that you meet or play with? Do you think that's that's still happening to a certain extent? Or do you think that's kind of changing a little bit with just, you know, more focus on health and be able to have the longevity of a career that you've had? I think it's kind of a little bit of everything. I mean, I, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, for, I think for a lot of younger bands, sure, that's the lifestyle that, you know, you got to kind of get out of your system. I think we've been doing mm -hmm. it for 30 years now. For the most part, it's kind of out of the system. <laughs> so now I'm personally <laughs> focused on longevity. So taking care of myself with like, you know, I, I, you know you're getting old when you're on tour and you're like, well, I got to get my eight hours sleep. Got to make sure I get <laughs> three squares a day. So, you know, I think it just kind of depends. But, you know, some of the guys in the band, you know, still hang out late hang out with the crew sure. or friends or whatever. So it's kind of across, you know, the board. Um, but we have friends that have been touring just as long as us, if not longer, and still having their after show parties and going all night. And just, you know, it's really a personal sort of, you know, thing, you know, what, what you're into, what you want to do. And um, I want to feel good when I wake up in the morning so that I can do it again. <laughs> so so I, I, there you I'm go. Hopefully, hopefully you know. Fashion Lean helps you feel good when you wake up in the morning there, too. Always. It always does. <laughs> and with, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, your contemporaries, artists are hitting the road again, you know, and you've got a lot of experience at this. You know, I think we almost teased out what the answer to the pop quiz question was. <laughs> but uh, anything you can impart to those, you know, that are starting to get back out and wear and tear on the road and how to help manage that, you know, whether they're young, old, middle, you know, um, you know, you got, we got a lot of contemporary friends out there that are in bands that are hitting the road this summer as well. Any, any wisdom you can impart to say, hey, guys, remember to do this, or here's what's been working for me the most? I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I think it's just, it's a, it's a personal journey. You know, mm -hmm. some people need nine hours sleep. Other people need four hours sleep. Some people, you know, can go to bed with a glass of wine. Some people need a couple of bottles, you know. Sure. It's really it's just a, a a personal journey there, but um, you know, I like to uh, run fast and eat my greens and jump high, so that works there for you me. Know. You know, that's it. That is that is awesome. Well, hey, can you give us a quick tour of the bus? A little a little camera spin around for those who've never seen the inside of a tour bus. Sure. There you go. Look at that Front virtual lounge. tour of the tour bus. Right. Front lounge here. Beat the street treats us very nice that's the bus company we got a little sleeping quarters back here uh -huh. actually i think i think dj kilmore is sleeping in the back so we're not going to disturb him but that's all that's all there is to our our tour bus life man <laughs> it's 45 feet that's it. 45 foot long hallway of uh you know a couple of couches a lot of fresh and lean in the refrigerator and some bunks. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I've seen I've seen a few in my day, man. That, that is home base for the band. That is that is a very sad, that's a very sacred ground right there. So, hey, man, I know you got sound check coming up. I want to make sure you have some time to decompress a little bit after we've just been hanging yeah. here, and uh, go right. do what you got to do. Have a great show, and thank you for for taking some time out there to hang out with us. Hey, no problem. And once again, thank you guys for all your support. Uh, thank you to Fresh and Lean, man. You guys keep us well fed and healthy. And uh, we look forward to seeing everyone out on the road. We're doing it. It's finally here. 2022 summer should be fun. Thank you, man. That's, that's right. IncubusHQ.com. Get those tickets before they're gone, guys. Have a good one. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Jose. Thanks, Mike. Later, buddy.